Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The What's up, Doc? Weren't you Hi, supposed Gordon. to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Please relax. Things could be much, much worse. Ah, Gordon. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're a bit strange to just. Oh! It's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Becquerel's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back. Make haste, man. They're waiting for you down in the test chamber. Ah, Gordon! Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, uh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. 
No. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. The one. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. Go ahead. Thank God for that hazard suit. All the faults are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. <laughs> Thank you. 
Keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? Glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Okay, I'll cover you. <laughs> 